Hello, my name is Daydreamer Dan, and Leon is not Baby Girl. The Resident Evil 4 remake has recently come out and has taken the world by storm. Once again, after almost 17 years, 17 years? Jesus Christ. After almost 17 years, you can finally jump back into the most fantastical and imaginary world, Spain. Learn the secrets about this mysterious village, uh, no, no, not that village, and save the president's daughter, no, not that president, and survive the disease that's trying to stop the world in its tracks. Okay, this one's on me. That was just way too vague. However, beyond the story, there's something that was in both the original 2004 yeah. games as well as the yeah. remake in 2023 that people really fell in love with. The item management! Yeah, get that attaché! Gunpowder! 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 Where can I put my f***ing fish? Wait, this video's not about item management? Oh, what the f- That's right, the internet's favorite twink. D twink? Twunk? Uh, hunk? The internet's favorite sexy man, Leon S. Kennedy, is back, and his jawline is ready to cut down more zombies than that shitty little spirit Halloween knife of his. However, while it is no question that Leon is attractive, a deeper, more nuanced question just looms over the horizon. Is Leon baby girl? If I'm gonna be honest though, this is a term that I've never heard Leon get referred to as before this year. And strangely enough, neither did the internet. The earliest instance I could find of someone referring to Leon as baby girl was actually January 4th of this year. TikTok user Gay commented he is so baby girl in response to a fan cam edit of Leon set to the Timbaland 2007 classic, The Way I Are. Being a researcher by nature, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to try and find out if Leon would be baby girl. I also didn't want to make another video where people would call me bad at video games and send me death threats. However, as I continued deeper and deeper down that Resident Evil rabbit hole, I unfortunately started to come to a conclusion that I know would be at the ire of many of the online fandom. Leon may be many things, but baby girl? That's not the way he are. Talk to me, girl. So today, I'm going to be jumping into what it means to be baby girl. And if Leon, both the original and remake versions, can live up to those high standards of what it means to be baby girl. Before if we can ask if Leon is baby girl, we must first know what it means to be baby girl. Hi, Cricket. Hi. <laughs> if you're like me, aka a millennial who thinks that he's still in touch with the current generation of kids, you might think the definition of baby girl is something similar to this from Urban Dictionary. A nickname only for the most rare and unique girl out there. Yes, I'm well aware that sounds like a modern Drake lyric for some reason, but strangely enough, in this 1,156 character long definition of what it means to be baby girl, Leon actually strangely matches up with a lot of these different tenets. From now on, we'll be referring to this as the Philly Boy definition because, well, it was uh, submitted by Philly Boy for Life on January 22nd, 2011. When the girl is finally yours, you make sure you never let her go. Hideki Kamiya, director of Resident Evil 2, creator of Leon, and top 1% user of the block button on Twitter, has gone on record talking about his surprise of the fan base's reaction to Leon and saying that he actually fell in love with the character all over again when Resident Evil 4 came came out. Hiroyuki Kobayashi and Jun Takeuchi, both producers of the Resident Evil series, both independently showed their praise about Leon and asked for him to be a protagonist in another game post Resident Evil 4. Everyone loved this swoopy haired cop and wanted more and more games with him, aka never wanting to let him go. A girl who will stay on the phone with you for countless hours. I'm sure when Leon isn't giving updates about Baby Eagle, he and Ingrid are having deeper conversations about their feelings. Hell, at the end of the game, he even asked for Ingrid Ingrid's phone number. A clear piece of evidence that he wants to have those late night calls where one of them ends up falling asleep on FaceTime and then the other pretends that they fell asleep as well. And then in the morning, Ingrid wakes up and she says, oh God, did I fall asleep? And then Liam's like, ha ha ha, me too. He's that kind of scamp. Even if your day is horrible, they can brighten it up. He can literally craft flash grenades, a skill apparently all police officers learn. I guess, and along your journey, you will have some rough patches. Yeah, that makes sense. So from this analysis, it seems like Leon does meet a lot of the different qualifications to be baby girl. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just wanted to play devil's advocate and deny Leon of this baby girl status. And for what reason? Toxic masculinity, fear, jealousy of wanting to be baby girl myself, a mix of all three? I guess Leon is baby girl after all.
Or so I would like you to believe. Do you remember what I said at the very beginning regarding the Philly Boy definition and when it was submitted? January 22nd, 2021. That's over 12 years. Wait, that was 12 years ago? Oh my god. I'm 28 talking about a video game character asking if he's baby girl. While the Philly Boy definition is the most upvoted definition on Urban Dictionary, there is a more recent one that I think people are referring to when it comes to our RE4R pro tag. Hey, have you noticed that kind of looks like rear? Boys, girls, and my friends from all around the world, I would like to introduce to you the baby swag definition, submitted by user oh yeah, baby swag 1122 on September 14th, 2022. A term used for grown fictional men who have a fandom in a loving chokehold. I'm assuming chokehold is metaphorical in this case, but with Leon, it Watch easily could be physical. This newer definition is much more vague and honestly more disputable. Yes, Leon's perfect hair part and approachable hotness are undeniable. However, I have a clear piece of evidence of why Leon should not be the Tumblr sexy man for the Resident Evil series. We can look at the baby swag definition from three different lenses. The physical lens, the personality lens, and what I'm going to be calling the X Factor. The physical lens looks at Leon's physical attractiveness in reference to what was attractive at the time. In 1998, Kamiya, our bald-headed blocker extraordinaire, wanted to create the protagonist of Resident Evil 2 to be in contrast to that of Chris Redfield. He saw Chris as this blunt, tough guy who knew what to do in the situation. So, instead, Leon was supposed to be an out-of-the-water fish. Out-of-the-water fish? That's not what I want to say. Instead, Leon would be a fish out of water every man with no experience and no idea what he just got himself into. In fact, the original plan for the protagonist was supposed to be a veteran cop, but in order to enhance this fish out of waterness, they made him a rookie cop instead. So how did the Resident Evil team make him look like an average Joe thrown into the deep end? Well, by obviously making Leon look like he was a member of Hanson. That's right, I'm suggesting that in order to make him look more approachable, the Resident Evil team made Leon look like he could fit perfectly standing in between Joey Fatone and pre ramen hair Justin, singing about how they want you back. And this trend continued into Resident Evil 4, Leon's next foray into the Resident Evil series. While the design team, led by Masaki Yamanaka, did succeed in making Leon look tougher but still a little bit cool, he still had that boyish charm that only the music industry could create. Only this time, a bit more akin to Backstreet Bad Boys of the early 2000s. In fact, in this game, I'm pretty sure Leon borrowed the jacket of Brian Chan, founding member of LMNT, producers of fantastic songs like Juliet and... Oh, hold on, give me a second. And when Capcom released the Resident Evil 2 remake in 2019, it looks like mom jeans and scrunchies weren't the only things coming back from the 90s. Except this time around, Leon Kennedy's charm went from attractive everyman to the twink that everybody was thirsting over on Twitter. That was harder to say than I thought. And when I say thirsting, I really do mean thirsting. I genuinely don't know if I can show this on YouTube. That does not look like a protocol uniform for an officer, Leon. And of course, with Resident... <laughs> And of course, with Resident Evil 4 Remake out now, you can actually download a DLC where Leon wears some modern streetwear as his casual outfit. Finally, for only $3.99, you too can make Leon look like the quirked up white boy goaded with the sauce that we all know he is. Am I cool enough for TikTok yet? So from this, we can conclude that Leon from a physical lens has a chokehold around the fandom. But how about on a personality level? You can look like the baby girl, but does that mean you have the baby girl inside you? I promise that wasn't meant to sound like pegging. Well, according to my research, it does look like Leon has some baby girl tendencies. In the Resident Evil 2 games, both the remake and the original, Leon is often referred to as being in his golden retriever era. And honestly, for good reason. He's optimistic, loyal, ambitious, and selfless. He's all ass. And do you know what's in the top eight most adopted dog breeds according to Halifax Humane Society? That's right, golden retrievers. Also beagles. Hi, good boy, good boy, <laughs> hi. Golden Retrievers are definitely one of the most baby girl breeds of dogs, so it makes sense if Leon would be as well. And in Resident Evil 4, especially the remake, Leon has become the king of one-liners. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Sorry, 
You're not my type. Kill me for the repairs later. Hey, is that dog? I know this last one wasn't a one-liner, but I just really liked it. <laughs> Hey, is that doc? And this confident yet cheesy demeanor is honestly the dad bod of personality traits. Far from perfect, but not afraid to show the world what they are and with a good sense of humor to boot. And as we know, dad bods are sexy. Also, I couldn't find a better place for this, but Leon's been portrayed by both Matthew Mercer and Avin Jogia, AKA the DM from Critical Role and Beck from the hit Nickelodeon sitcom Victorious. So yeah, he's sexy. So we can see from both a personality and a physical standpoint, Leon seems to be hitting all of his marks in the baby swag definition of baby girl. However, if you recall, there's a fun little third category when it comes to trying to figure out the baby girlness of Leon S. Kennedy. The X Factor. And when I say X Factor, I'm not talking about the hit music competition franchise heralded by Simon Cowell. Although Simon, if you are watching this video, please contact me. I have many questions about your appearance on Shrek 2's short Far Far Away Idol, and I promise you only two of them have to do with the abominations known as drunkies. Oh, no. no, in this case, X Factor refers to a single piece of evidence that would completely confirm or negate the baby girl status of a character. Something that despite all the previous evidence would be so defining that it would indeed figure out if a character is baby girl. And for Leon, you're probably wondering what that piece of evidence is. This damning character trait that I made this entire video about. A trait that is so ingrained into his character that I've been dropping hints about it since the very beginning of this entire video. And yet you are all so distracted by his perfect biceps and his his silly one-liners that you have all somehow forgotten. In fact, it's a piece of evidence that is so central to his character that he wouldn't even be in the franchise if it wasn't for it. What is this evidence? What is this fact, you may ask? Have you been so distracted that my breadcrumbs haven't been enough for you? Everyone loved this swoopy hair cop skill. Apparently all police officers made him a rookie cop instead. Does not look like a protocol uniform for an officer. Where can I pull my f***ing fish? That's right, wake up, sheeple. For Leon S. Kennedy is not your every man. He is not your down-to-earth protagonist. He is not baby girl. Leon S. Kennedy is a cop. A cop has no right to be the poster child of your simping for an entire series. A police officer, have you no shame? The term is a cab, not a cable. The 1312 includes Resident Evil 2 and four. Now you may say Daydreamer Daniel, he is different. He's not like the others. It was only his first day. And to that, I say nay. From what I learned from 80s comedies, it is not easy to become a police officer and you have to choose it. And I promise you, I have learned nothing else from 80s comedies. But by denying the baby girl title from Leon, we are now left with an emotional empty hole in our hearts. What is to motivate us to play the Resident Evil series? Ashley? She's the president's daughter. That makes her like grade A Nepo baby material. Claire? Her vest says made in heaven on the back. I want some separation of church and state, not the Joel Austin of Raccoon City. Ada Wong? More like the wrong <sighs> choice when it comes to baby girl. I'd also like to remind you that she killed an entire farm of potato farmers. Chris Redfield, Albert Wesker, Jill Valentine, they were all cops at some point in their career, so they are out of the picture as well. There has to be a character in the games, specifically from the Resident Evil 4 remake, that we can all look to as the baby girl in this time of need. But is there a character that is without fault, that must be protected? that has the fan base up in arms. Who could be baby girl? Hey, it's that dog. The answer has been in front of us the entire time. Physically, the dog is adorable and majestic and lovable. Personality-wise, he came to Leon's aid when he was going up against El Gigante, showing that he's selfless, kind, and dependent, a lovely pup who can only do good. And best of all, 
He's not a cop. This goes beyond the baby swag definition. He meets a lot of the different tenants from the Philly boy definition that we brought up earlier as well. The most rare and unique girl out there. He's the only dog in the entire Resident Evil series who is not infected and also comes to your aid. A girl who will stay on the phone with you for countless hours. He'll stay on that ledge watching you the entire time if you end up standing there after defeating El Gigante. Even if your day is horrible, they will brighten it up. When he is introduced in the Resident Evil 4 remake, there is literally a bolt of lightning that shoots across the sky. That literally brightens Leon's day. This dog has such a chokehold on the Resident Evil fandom that when the demo first came out, there was a huge uproar because there was an added detail of another wolf that was caught in a trap that Leon was a bit too late to save. People thought that meant the developers changed the story so that you couldn't save our good, good boy. He was literally getting the entire player base up in arms because of one small aesthetic change. All of this evidence together shows us that this dog can now be the new baby girl of the Resident Evil series. Leon! Leon! So I'm proud to say that Leon is not baby girl. However, Resident Evil 4 still does have a baby girl that we should all praise and protect. Now go out there and enjoy Resident Evil 4, or at least watch those Luis Leon shirtless mods on YouTube, because you know I probably will.